Yo guys, Rush TV here and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Foot Headliners, Luis Alberto. Now this card is getting a fair bit of backlash from the FIFA community and I mean, I don't necessarily see why. Okay, I understand some stats with this card aren't necessarily the best. He's kind of that dud card. Him and Moreno are kind of seen as those dud cards from the Foot Headliners. But I seriously think that this guy could be usable. Um, and I, I, honestly, for 60k, Luis Alberto's already got two informs as FIFA. Lazio are a strong team in the Serie A. I can see this card getting a couple more upgrades. And if he does get a couple more upgrades, guys, I mean, he's going to be next level. We haven't used him yet, though, guys. We bought him for 60k on the transfer market. I went and put an engine chemistry style on him. He's six foot tall, three star, four star. So the three star weak foot isn't necessarily the best. The four star skill moves, though, will be decent. The thing that I'm looking at, guys, is the medium, medium work rate, which isn't necessarily ideal on an attacking midfielder. We're using him in a 4-3-3-4. So we do want him pushing forward, hence why if I go onto the custom tactics really quickly, lads, I have gone and put him on stay forward because we do want him to get forward. With the medium, medium work rates, I feel like he could be a little bit lazy, but he has a great looking card, guys. He honestly has a great looking card in the areas that this guy's good at. In the areas that he excels at, he is next level. You look at the st stats right here, guys. 81 acceleration, we boosted, of course, with the engine chemistry style. That is going to be very decent. Um, the shooting stats all around, guys. The penalties really don't matter. I can't honestly fault that. We could boost that a little bit if we put, let's say, a Hawk chemistry style on him. But we're not. We're going to put the engine chemistry style on him and completely boost that dribbling and passing. I mean, the passing, lads. Look at that. Free kick accuracy up to 97. The short passing and long passing are at 99. He's got 93 curve, and that is completely untouched, guys. The vision is amazing. The dribbling stats, guys. The composure, I know, 74 composure is lacking a little bit, but if we look at the rest of the dribbling stats, guys, I mean, wow. Agility is fine. Reactions are brilliant. Um, ball control and dribbling, absolutely amazing. But if we go into the physicals, lads, this guy lacks in the physical category as well. 74 stamina, 57 jumping, 69 strength, and 30 aggression. He is not going to be strong whatsoever. He actually reminds me of somebody like Littman and with that aggression. Lippmann has something like 20 aggression. You look at Luis Alberto, he's only got 30. So he's a nice guy. You, you come across the street with Luis Alberto, he won't, won't punch you in the face. He's not an aggressive man. But in FIFA, we kind of want that aggression to be a little bit higher. Either way, this is the team that we're using him in. I mean, the left side is definitely not the best, but the right side is pretty damn solid. So he's going to be right in the center of that. Luis Alberto, hopefully he can get some goals and assists for us. We're only going to be using him for a couple of games and I'll give, him my, I'll give you all my final verdict on him. Uh, Luis Alberto Rom Rom Romero Alconquel. Let's get into the player review. Let's get into the games. All right, guys, we're into the first game here, and this guy has a pretty bog standard team. That that Lewandowski though looks pretty solid. Which, if you do want to see a full headline review on Lewandowski, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try my best. Luis Alberto, look at him getting away already off kickoff. Oh, oh, Luis, he's actually quick, man. Oh my God, look at this pace. The engine chemistry style. Makes him feel quick. Maybe, ma ma wait, wait, wait. Is this guy AFK? Is this, I, I don't know if this guy's got his controller on, but I just went and scored with Luis Alberto in the first three minutes. Yeah, guys, I mean, he actually feels really quick with that acceleration boost uh, on the engine chemistry style. I'm telling you right now, he got away from plays really quickly there. Messi, over the top. Luis Alberto with the header. Oh yeah, he just didn't jump there. There we go, Alberto, make that pass, hold on. Orchestrate that play, baby. There we go. Nice little bit of skill there. Keep running, son. Nice little burst of pace there. Honestly, feels pretty damn quick. Let's go. Let's see if we can find him through. Alberto, get there, son. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Go, Alberto. Oh, that's stunning. Look at that pass over the top. Please be onside. Oh, he's offside. But you guys saw that little bit of skill there. The four-star skills, so far, I want to test the weak foot, obviously, because I do like a four-star weak foot on my midfielders. But, man, the four-star skills make him feel really, really good on the ball. Especially since his dribbling ability is already amazing. Oh, here we go. He's gonna stole the ball off him. Albert oh, look at him! Man, I know I'm playing against bad plays and div rivals. But damn, he was just falling over the, all over the place there. And Alberto had possibly one of the worst finishes in front of goal there. But, I'm not expecting him to finish necessarily in the box. I'm just wanting to orchestrate the play, which he seemed to be doing very well. Like, just making assists like that. If I can... I don't know, man. My, my opponent is so bad. And I've gone and got a penalty. I'll take it. I'm gonna go left and then I'm gonna go right. Oh, oh. Cut that, cut, cut. Let's go, go Alberto. 
Lovely bit of dribbling there. Look at how look at how he holds on to the ball here. I want to see if I can make that pass through because I don't necessarily like his finishing in the box, but the right-footed shot. I don't know, I don't know if is he is he right-footed or left-footed? I actually I it's funny how I don't know that. Okay, well I just conceded a goal. Shit. Alberto is right-footed. Okay, he's got a three-star weak foot, so let's try to keep it off his weak foot. But look, man, he's actually going through the defense here. He actually doesn't feel that weak. Look, Hernandez just mustered him off the ball there, but he actually kind of got through there, which surprised me because he only has 69 strength and 30 aggression. Here we go, son. Try to pick out that pass. There we go, into Vidal. Oh, lovely little pass there. Go, finish, Williams. Finish. Oh, my God, I cannot finish my dinner. But you guys saw right there. This guy picks out some really good passes, and his passing is completely maxed out with the engine chemistry style. Would I recommend it? I probably would, man. So far, his shooting isn't necessarily the best, I will say, but um, in terms of his creativity ability, this guy's like a central cam and a 4 2 3 1. Oh my god, he would be very, very underrated. It's half time, though, guys, and you can already see he's the only player in the team, and that, that stamina bar is already starting to close down a little bit. I would say, with the medium, medium work rates, uh, his stamina wouldn't necessarily deplete too much because he's not really going to be trying to run up and down the field. But since I've stuck him on stay forward, he actually is making those runs. And since I'm trying to feed him, and I am making those runs with him, um, he actually is getting tired. So 74 stamina, guys, definitely something to be aware of because, of course, you can't really boost it, can you? Here we go, Alberto. See that pass that wide? Lovely pass, man. That was actually on his, um, on his weak foot there. Go on, Alberto. Stop. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, through. Vidal, just get there. Just get there, Vidal, please. Play the through ball. Lovely through ball. Look at this, man. Look at this. Look how good his passing is, man. I'm going to try to sweat it over. Let's try to get a goal with Alberto. There we go. He scored two goals this game. Somehow. I don't know. But I'm telling you right now, this guy's passing is honestly up with the best plays in the game. He's maxed out all of his short passing and long passing. Team of the year level, guys. I'm telling you, team of the year De Bruyne level in terms of passing. But I'm going to make subs. Look at that stamina bar right there. If that's not something to worry about, I don't know what is. Look at all the traits he has. I was on. Damn, I didn't even realize. But we're going to try and play him out the whole game simply because I want to see how much stamina he has for the rest of the game. Can he actually still run if he's on 99 fitness going into a game? Because right now, man, I'm telling you, he feels amazing. But you're going to have to worry, when it gets to that 60th, 70th minute, which can be crunch time in many games, you have to be aware, has this guy got the legs to keep running? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Look at that stamina bar depleting, guys. He's still got it, though. Let's see if he can finesse shot this. Alberto! Oh, my God. He's gone and got his hat-trick with that goal, lads. That is insane. I took a finesse shot with him not too long ago. It was terrible. And then he goes and does that. That is rude. Oh, my God. God, he's just completely showcasing his curve and long shots there, right there. He got like 93 curve, guys. His long shots, somewhere in the 80s, I think. Either way, that was next level, and that could be a match-winning goal. Go. Alberto back to Williams. There we go, lads. Easy, easy goal right here. Go. Into Alberto. I didn't necessarily have to sweat it there, but we've probably got a rage quit on our hands now, lads. And that's four goals for Alberto. There we go. We went and got the rage quick, guys, which is obviously very, very good. Alberto in his first game went and got four goals, lads. Four goals, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, no assists. But I'm telling you right now, this guy orchestrates the play very, very well. If there's anything I do have to say about this guy, though, it is, of course, his stamina. Uh, I don't know if I can show his stamina bar, uh, but pretty much, guys, as soon as this guy paused uh, for the rage quit, Luis Alberto's stamina bar was literally red. It was on his last legs, guys. And he's on 99 fitness right now, so I'm not going to touch his fitness. We're going to go on to the next game, and hopefully he can last the whole game. But seriously, in the time that I use this guy just for this one game, seriously. Underrated play, guys. For 60k, of course, he can potentially get more upgrades as well, so it could be a good player to trade with. But... I'm being serious, he is good. Just after the first game though, guys, I will specifically point out that his passing is next level. You guys heard me say it in, in the game, it is honestly amazing. This guy, as a central cam, anywhere on the pitch, whether it be in a 4-3-3-4, I know a 4-2-3-1 is a very popular formation, this guy will be amazing. All I will say though, guys, is that you need to put this guy on stay forward because medium, medium work rates ain't the best. But this guy's positioning, when I said stay forward, was actually very, very good. Nevertheless, I'll talk about, of course, all of his pros and cons when we actually finish this final game. But let's go get into the second game with Alberto. See how his stamina goes. He's on 93 fitness going into this game. Hopefully he can last the whole game. I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
but nevertheless, let's get into it. All right, this guy's got a much better team than our last opponent, but at the same time, he's only on 84 chemistry, so, I mean, we'll wait and see. That shark card, though, I really want him. Oh, even on his left foot, guys, look at that pass right there. Fish. Oh, Alberto. Go, see the pass over. Lovely little chip through ball there. Can he get it back in? Head that. Johnny! Oh, let's go. Let's go, Alberto. Run into space here. Look, he actually has the speed to run into space. Finesse shot. Can he do it? Oh, blocked, but we still got the ball. Drag back. Drag back again. Skill. What are you doing? Okay, let's go. Into Parolo. Parolo! I like it. Oh, crossbar! Get there. Get there, Williams. Get there. Oh, I like God. it. <laughs> the crossbar again. I will say, though, with this card, the four star skills, guys are a savior. If this guy didn't have four-star skills, honestly, this card would be so much worse. But he does, and let me tell you, it is brilliant. Nice little bit of dribbling here by Alberto. Here we go. Cuts inside nicely. Can we get the pass off? There we go. There's the strength. But he gets the ball off him somehow. Has he got the ball? No. But yeah, Torreira, since he's an aggressive little pit bull, he went and got the ball off Alberto there, and he's like seven inches shorter than him. Oh, lovely bit of skill there by Alberto. Can he kick? Oh, look at this, lads. Look at this piece of dribbling right here. Can we take it get a free kick? We will get a free kick. Man, this guy's ball control and his dribbling ability, man, just overall is insane. He's got 97 free kick accuracy, guys, and 93 curve. I'm not expecting to score this by all means, but we're going to try. Luis Alberto, can he get it back in? Oh, not a bad free kick there. Just didn't quite have enough power. 62nd minute, guys. We're going to make some subs. And to be honest... Okay, Luis Alberto is actually going alright stamina-wise, but I guess that is largely because I haven't been feeding him as much as the last game. So if you are trying to get this guy in amongst the play all the time, and you're always making runs with him, his stamina will deplete like nothing else. This game specifically, I haven't really touched Alberto as much. Uh, so, because uh, last game, of course, I tried to showcase everything that he could do on the ball. We already know how good he is at dribbling, we already know how good he is at passing. This game, I kind of left him, but... Still, guys, the stamina isn't the best, and if you do try and make those runs forward, eventually he just will die. So we'll have to wait and see how he does for the rest of the 30 minutes, but ain't gonna be amazing, that's for sure. Alberto, stop. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, get done. Oh, oh. Maybe his long shots aren't the best. Nick Mana. Alright, let's try his finesse shot again here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, is this guy the best finesse shot taker in FIFA? Maybe he is! Normal long shots, he can't do it. Finesse long shots, that's a different story. This was even better than the finesse shot that we got last game. You cannot get more top corner than that. You just physically cannot. Luis Alberto, that stamina bar isn't the best, but it is enough to last us the rest of the game. You guys can see that right there. It is actually okay. There we go, bang. Can we go back to Alberto? We'll take a free kick, thank you. No, don't you dare. Oh my god. Guys, if there's anything you guys can get from this video, Larissa is the shittest keeper in FIFA. He is so bad. Although we did unfortunately go and lose our second game, we went and got another goal with Alberto. Out of the five goals that we scored all together out of these two games, Alberto scored every single one of them. We didn't even get an assist with him, guys. But let me tell you right now, his finesse shots, as I showed you guys, are just on another level. I cannot even, like, I thought last time I scored that finesse shot, it was a fluke. But then he went and did it again, his finesse shots are amazing. So without further ado, let's get into the overall summary and rating for this foot headliners Luis Alberto card. Now, if you guys couldn't tell from that live gameplay, I did really enjoy this card. I mean, he honestly was, he surprised me, he did surprise me, because as I said when I went into this video, this guy is seen from the FIFA community as this just dud player that nobody wants from the headliners promo. But a couple more upgrades, and I'm telling you right now, this guy is going to be an end game cam. If even he isn't an end game cam right now, guys, he does have a few flaws to his card, which I will talk about in the cons. But overall, guys, oh my god, really did surprise me for 60k. Absolutely brilliant cam. That's why I'm going to be giving him an overall rating of a 9.1 out of 10. I value the coins of a 8.5 out of 10 and an enjoyment rating of a 9.5 out of 10. He honestly was so fun to use. Two games, five goals, zero assists. Guys, you see a record like that on a cam, you know that he's going to be good. Let's go and let's get into his pros. His first pro for me, guys, has to be his acceleration with the engine chemistry style. This guy ran away from players very quickly um, and honestly, 
even without an engine chemistry style. 81 acceleration on a cam like Luis Alberto, who you're not gonna play out wide, you're gonna play him in the center cam position, is very, very good. He does get away from players pretty quickly, and um, he does, of course, feel very good on the ball as well, uh, with that decent agility, and I guess decent-ish balance with the en engine chemistry style as well. Uh, so he does feel very good on the ball. The acceleration does help him out a lot as well. So acceleration is very good. A great pro for me. On to Luis Alberto's next pro for me, and it has to be his finesse shots, guys. You saw from the gameplay. I was just enjoying taking finesse shots with this guy. I felt like a good FIFA player when I was scoring 25-yard bangers that were literally going into the top right corner with Luis Alberto. So, guys, you get into a space when you're cutting in on this guy's right foot. Please just take a finesse shot. It will go in. His next pro for me, guys, has to be his passing. It's an obvious one. Seriously, guys. With the engine chemistry style, his vision, short passing, and long passing are pretty much completely maxed out. So, I would probably put a preface on putting the engine chemistry style on this guy just to boost that passing completely because he did not... Like, I can't recall Luis Alberto stuffing up a pass, and that's why it is really vital that if you are using this guy in a 4-2-3-1, a very popular formation in this game, you do play him in the center because he just orchestrates the play, passing the balls out through the wingers and also just playing it through the center to the striker. He is really good at that. The final two pros that I want to talk about on this headline is Luis Alberto card, guys, kind of coincide with each other. One being his dribbling and two being his skill moves. First things first, let's just talk about the dribbling, guys. I mean, with the engine chemistry style, you guys see right there, his dribbling gets a plus 10 boost to 99, ball control plus 5 to a 96, agility plus 5 to an 88. The ball just stuck to this guy's feet like glue, guys. And when I was going on little, I guess you kind of could call them skill runs, they weren't really skill runs, but when I was skilling with Luis Alberto, nevertheless, he just didn't feel like losing the ball, guys. One of my favorite skill moves in this game is the La Croqueta, really overpowered skill move, and that is why I really do like to have four-star skill in midfielders, so I can do that skill move. Luis Alberto just abused it, guys, and he did have another few good skill moves in his locker, but seriously, whenever I did the La Croqueta, a lot of the time when you do use players who don't necessarily have the best ball control and dribbling, they do have a heavy touch after the La Croqueta, and they can lose the ball. Luis Alberto is not clumsy on the ball at all. He is absolutely amazing, and he does not feel like losing the ball off his feet whatsoever. Although with every good card comes some cons, unless of course if you are a team of the year. But nevertheless, Luis Alberto does have some cons with his card, which I've, I kind of did talk about when I was in the games. But nevertheless, we are going to talk about it right here as well. His first one being his stamina, lads. His stamina by all means, was not the best. When I was feeding him, especially in the first game, making those runs upfield all the time, by the 60th minute, he was absolutely gassed out. And you may need to sub this guy off uh, when it comes to the latter stages of the game because he just won't be able to run, guys. He won't be able to run. Although he was okay in the second game, I just would preface, you do need to have this guy either on full fitness or just be prepared to sub him off because 74 stamina just isn't quite good enough. Especially if you're going to be spending 60k on this guy, you, you do not want to have a cam that's got only 74 stamina. By all means, his 69 strength and 30 aggression were not a pro. Um, he is 6 foot tall, so you do expect a player like Luis Alberto to have a little bit of strength on him. But, he got outmuscled by Torreira, guys, in the game plan. Torreira, I know he's quite strong, he's a bit like a Kante kind of player. But for somebody who's, what, like 7-8 inches shorter than Luis Alberto, you don't expect him to just get muscled off the ball. Like, come on. Honestly, guys, I would not try boosting that strength and aggression whatsoever. I feel like it's best off with this card to boost the stats, which he already is very good at, of course, being that passing and being that dribbling. His final negative for me, guys, has to be that three-star weak foot. I mean, I do love to have a four-star weak foot on my midfielders. And although even passing on his left foot, he was quite decent, it's more so shooting. You do want to shoot on this guy's right foot. Do not take shots at all on his left foot, especially since his composure is quite lacking as well. I am not going to put his composure as a negative, but it is something to go into the games when you do buy this card to be aware with, because 74 composure is not good at all. But a three-star weak foot, guys, we all have a four-star weak foot on a midfielder at least. Luis Alberto doesn't have that. Now, you guys are probably wondering as well, why aren't I putting his medium, medium work rates as a con? Well, personally, I did put him on stay forward, guys, in a 4-3-3-4, and he did stay forward for me. I guess it depends how you like to have your middle cam because I wouldn't expect you guys to play him anywhere else. But personally, I do like my cams to stay forward. You can try this guy on basic defensive support if you want, but I feel like he wouldn't necessarily 
make those runs forward. Nevertheless though guys, that is going to be the end of this foot headliners Luis Alberto player review. If you do want to see more player reviews, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys prefer the live player reviews or the post commentary player reviews? Get commenting in the comment section down below guys, okay? If you are new around here, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you did enjoy it. Turn on those post notifications as well guys and I'll catch you all very, very soon. Peace.